in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Kyrie eleison. Christe eleison. Kyrie eleison. Today we celebrate the memorial of St. Peter Claver, priest who dedicated himself to serving the slaves in Cartagena in Colombia during the 17th century. Let us pray. O God, who made St. Peter Claver a slave of slaves, and strengthen him with wonderful charity and patience as he came to their help, grant through his intercession that seeking the things of Jesus Christ, we may love our neighbor in deeds and in truth through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, put on as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, heartfelt compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience, bearing with one another and forgiving one another. If one has a grievance against another, as the Lord has forgiven you, so must you also do. And over all these, put on love, that is, the bond of perfection. And let the peace of Christ control your hearts, the peace into which you were also called in one body. And be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, as in all wisdom you teach and admonish one another, singing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs with gratitude in your hearts to God. And whatever you do, in word or in deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Praise the Lord in his sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his strength. Praise him for his mighty deeds. Praise him for his sovereign majesty. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Praise him with the blast of the trumpet. Praise him with lyre and harp. Praise him with timbrel and dance. Praise him with strings and pipe. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Praise him with sounding cymbals. Praise him with clanging cymbals. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Alleluia. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. 
Аллилуйя, 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 Аллилуйя. If we love one another, God remains in us, and his love is brought to perfection in us. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, To you who hear, I say, Love your enemies, Do good to those who hate you, Bless those who curse you, Pray for those who mistreat you, To the person who strikes you on one cheek, Offer the other one as well, and from the person who takes your cloak, do not withhold even your tunic. Give to everyone who asks of you, and from the one who takes what is yours, do not demand it back. Do to others as you would have them do to you. For if you love those who love you, what credit is that to you? Even sinners love those who love them. And if you do good to those who do good to you, what credit is that to you? Even sinners do the same. If you lend money to those from whom you expect repayment, what credit is that to you? Even sinners lend to sinners and get back the same amount but rather love your enemies and do good to them and lend expecting nothing back. Then your reward will be great and you will be children of the Most High. For he himself is kind to the ungrateful and the wicked. Be merciful just as also your Father is merciful. Stop judging and you will not be judged. Stop condemning, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you, will forg be be and you will be forgiven. Give, and gifts will be given to you, a good measure, packed together, shaken down, and overflowing, will be poured into your lap. For the measure with which you measure will in return be measured out to you. The Gospel of the Lord. St. Paul says in the first reading, be thankful. Gratitude is a virtue that goes beyond courtesy. It demands works. Gratitude demands a response to the giver, to he who loves you first. Gratitude in this sense is an act of justice. When you are grateful, you are being just. And gratitude demands that the works you will give in return to the love that you received first, demands that you give them back graciously. It demands that you do not expect anything back. When we are grateful, when we try to live the virtue of gratitude, we are imitating God's love 
who expects nothing, nothing back. It is weird because when he loves, he wants us to love him back for us to be happy. He doesn't need anything to be complete because he's God. But as we respond to his love, we are being completed. We are the ones who are benefited when we love him back. Gratitude is the expression of pure love because when love is pure, you expect nothing back. You are not calculating how much I ought to receive back. Now, the measure of your love depends on the measure you have, the measure of love you have been given. And the measure of God's love is infinite. In that sense, gratitude helps you to love your enemy. Your enemy does not deserve your love. But God does deserve your love. And when you are aware of the love that you owe God, you are obliged to love your enemy out of gratitude for God because he deserves your love. Not your enemy, but God does deserve your love. Because you didn't receive God's love. You didn't re deserve God's love. And he graciously loved me without me deserving his love. And because I owe him a response to his love, and I ought to love him back, then I must love he who does not deserve my love. Gratitude is a great virtue who has a lot to say to us. Notice what St. Paul says at the end of his, this passage of his letter. And whatever you do, whatever is whatever, whatever you do, whether it's brooming your, your kitchen, praying the rosary, listening to someone who suffers, being patient with others', others shortcomings, and whatever you do, in word or in deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Here we see that the works we're called to perform must be works done out of gratitude to God. Our, our works and our words should be an expression of thanksgiving to God's love. St. Paul says, giving thanks to God the Father through him. We are called to become a living Eucharist, that is, a living thanksgiving, that in everything we do and say, we are called to give thanks to God. When we are grateful and we imitate God's love because God, I repeat, loves us graciously. When we are grateful, we imitate him in that love towards the ungrateful and the wicked. Again, they do not deserve our love. But we didn't deserve God's love. 
and he loved us anyway. As an, act, as an act of justice, we have to love him back. How can we love him back? By loving our neighbor, especially those who do not deserve our, our love. Let us ask the Lord to give us a grateful heart because then we will understand what is the love we are called to give to others, what is the love that we have to give back to the Lord, and thus we will find happiness, the realization of our very selves. Let us pray in silence. Let us pray, brothers and sisters, for the Church, the world, and for one another. For our leaders in the Church, that they may be endowed with the courage they need to stand fast on the difficult moral issues of our day. We pray especially for Pope Francis. Let us pray to the Lord. That world leaders may be filled with knowledge of God's will, bearing fruit in every good work for life, justice, integrity, and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. For vocations that more willing hearts may be amazed at the way in which obedience to the word of Jesus makes their lives overflow, then leave everything to follow him. For this we pray. For all who are in a for all who are in a time of great distress, who have nothing to show for their labors and sufferings, that Jesus may surprise them with a gift of abundance and joy, we pray to the Lord. For us, that as we realize God's infinite love for us, we may not be calculating the love we have to share with one another, especially the love we have to give to those who do not deserve our loves, our love. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray for our beloved dead, that they may be delivered from the power of darkness and transferred to the kingdom of the beloved Son. Let us pray to the Lord. God of heaven and earth, listen graciously to the prayers that we humbly present to you, trusting your divine mercy. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you through the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. We humbly implore your majesty, Almighty God, that just as the offerings made in honor of blessed Peter Claver Bear witness to the glory of divine power, so they may impart to us the effects of your salvation through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Peter Claver, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise for through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. By the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, 
the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God with blessed Joseph her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious murders, with Saint Peter Claver, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant, Francis our Pope, and Nelson our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Behold, I am with you always, even to the end of the age, says the Lord. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Make us who have been nourished by this sacred meal. Almighty God, always follow the example of blessed Peter Clever in serving you with constant devotion and assisting all with untiring charity through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen.